Hello everyone. In last class we had discussed about what are the reasons for lack of access to clean drinking water. And in this class let's discuss about what are the key reasons for increase in water demand. So the first reason is the climate change. As we all know the climate, uh, the global warming and other deforestation and due to greed of man we are destroying the forest and our ecosystem which in turn we are uh, facing the issues related to the rain and uh, the groundwater table depletion of groundwater table so the next uh, reason is population growth so population is one of the main reason in increasing water demand because as the number of as the number increases the water consumption also increases so the water demand is uh, directly proportional to the population growth so as we all know the population is increasing day by day in a rapid manner which in turn increases the water demand the next reason is urbanization and industrialization so when the industries come into picture they utilize lakhs of liters of water for their production and, and uh, their maintenance and, uh, and other operational reasons and urbanization as the industrialization uh, takes place the people from the rural area move to the urban areas due to for the job sake and for other purposes which in turn creates the mega cities like bangalore mumbai kolkata and in that particular area even though the water was sufficient to the original population the surplus population will suffer or due to the surplus population everybody needs to suffer the scarcity of water so the next uh, key reason is economic development so as the economy increases economy of any particular community or any particular family increases their living standards also increases so as the living standard increases the per capita demand of that particular person or family also increases which in turn generates or creates the water demand or increasing water demand and the one more reason is change in public behavior so if the public is not aware of uh, the upcoming water crisis or what we are going through we don't let's consider water water is a resource and if we don't know about the resource properly or its uh, depletion or the abusement of that we are abuse, we will abuse the particular resource if we don't know its value so if the public don't behave in a sensible manner then it creates the water demand for example let's uh, consider that there is some leakage or pipe break uh, water supply pipe breakdown and nobody bothers and nobody informs the authority then the leakage will continue until it is attended or for example if the public uh, even though after knowing the water the scarcity if they try to wash their car road and pavements in front of their house even in summer that shows that the public don't have any sense regarding the scarcity of water so if the public if the public they utilizes uh, the water rain water harvesting is uh, carried out and uh, if the inundation wells are created then it will uh, decrease the water demand by improving the water table and uh, by rejuvenating the wells nearby and one more uh, reason we can also consider is the uh, governance so if the change in governance if the, gov if the governance is not good in the particular state 
or a particular country then we can't uh, uh, expect the resources to be safeguarded or utilized in a proper way and water loss is also one of the major uh, uh, water loss in the terms of uh, leakages and uh, misusement or uh, abusement of resources these also cause the water loss and the last reason and one of the major reason is uh, increase in consumption so pcd per capita demand is increasing day by day as i said the, as the economy increases the living standard increases per capita demand of water also increases which in turn creates the water demand now let's look into the major challenges uh, we come across while providing the safe water for drinking and sanitation what are the challenges we face so the first thing is the water can the while uh, the water can sorry the first uh, reason or the first challenge is water contamination in distribution system we'll study about the distribution system in fourth and fifth module so while even though we provide or we supply the wholesome water while the water let's consider source and uh, user in the in the mid path and in the mid way there are chances of contamination by one or the other way even though we treat and we supply the wholesome water end user may not get the wholesome water he may get the contaminated water that is also one of the major challenges so we need to be very careful so that we will look into the issue and no contamination will takes place and the second uh, challenge we can say is that uh, rising water scarcity as we all know due to the uh, abusement and misusement of water the water scarcity also increase in awareness so the rising water scarcity is also one of the is also one of the challenges and along with the water scarcity uh, implementing of innovative and uh, cost effective sanitization system is also one of the major challenges for example uh, if we plan to implement any scientific or any modern sanitation technique or modern sanitation uh, methodology due to the mindset of people or conservative mindset of people we are we will not accept the new method or new systems so which in terms uh, which in turn oh, we can say that uh, which consumes the more water if we follow the traditional system itself or uh, any the old methodologies and along with it the the disparities between the global and regional uh, water quality is also reducing because uh, nobody will accept the water in a bad aesthetic way or in a bad aesthetic uh, condition so this in turn also causes us to give good quality of water for uh, regional and in global uh, level and along with this uh, like uh, there are mega cities which forms Due, due to urbanization and globalization these mega cities will create trouble because consider bangalore's population and consider any other villages or any other cities even the famous cities even the 10 famous cities or 10 no 10 cities which are around your uh, vicinity won't contribute or won't match with the population of bangalore so if you consider the population of bangalore with population of mysore or mandya it is not at all in the match so this in turn reflects the challenges any water supply unit or department that face to create a large amount of sanitation and water facilities for that particular area thank you